हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टू टॉपिक्स दैट इज रिलेटिव स्टेबिलिटी एंड पॉपुलेशन इक्विवेलेंट स्टार्टिंग विद द रिलेटिव स्टेबिलिटी नाउ व्हाट इज रिलेटिव स्टेबिलिटी इट इज डिफाइंड एज द रेशियो ऑफ अवेलेबल ऑक्सीजन इन सीवेज to the required oxygen for satisfying the first stage bod it means that it is the ratio of available oxygen in sewage divided by the required oxygen for satisfying the first stage bod okay now from the previous datas we had computed two types of empirical formulas which will be equals to 100 into 1 minus 0.794 at 20 degree celsius here the t is time in days at 20 degree celsius incubation okay now if we kept the sample at 37 degree celsius incubation so the formula will be equals to 100 into 1 minus 0.630 t at 37 degree celsius where t is the time in days at 37 degree celsius incubation okay now the next parameter will be the population equivalent population equivalent can be defined as the industrial waste water is generally compared with per capita normal waste water so as to rationally charge the industry for the pollution caused by them suppose that municipal department municipal department has fixed a unit rate for the waste produced by one human being that is rupees 20 per human being or per person okay now suppose that in a family there will be five person living in that family so what will be the amount of uh, rupees paid to the municipal department by that family it will be equals to 5 into 20 so they will need to pay 100 rupees on daily basis because it is the municipal department rate on daily basis okay now we had computed the cost of total waste produced by that family okay now if some industry is producing a waste of around 1000 kg in one day okay 1000 kg in one day then how can we charge that industry because we had a rate of or a rate on the basis of per person per day okay so we need to find out the population equivalent for that okay for rationally charge the industry for the pollution caused by them we need to calculate the population equivalent okay it is the ratio of total waste produced by the industry in kg per day divided by the waste produced by one person in one day that is kg per capita per day suppose that if a person is producing a waste of 10 kg per day then we just calculate the population equivalent from this and it will be equals to 1000 upon 10 and from kg kg cancel out day day cancel out and it will be equivalent to 100 person it means that the total waste produced by that industry will be equivalent to the waste produced by 100 person so we had the unit rate on the per person basis so we just multiply it with the unit rate that is 20 per person and we will charge the industry as rupees 2000 for the waste produced by them that's why we will need to calculate the population equivalent and its formula will be equals to bod5 of industry divided by bod5 by a person it will be in kg per day and it will be in kg per capita per day so we will we will calculate from here the population equivalent and if we multiply it with the unit rate we can determine the cost of the total waste produced by that industry okay that will be all about the relative stability and population equivalent thank you very much students